Hello, welcome once again. Uh, today we're going to be discussing about the gauges. On a cold day today, as it is today in the northeast part of the of the country, we're around 30 degrees, 20 degrees. Now, you know when you first start off, this is the voltage gauge over here. This tells you the voltage, the battery, and also the, the alternator. So right now, the alternator on a cold, cold start like today... It'll be around, you see it's over 14. It'll be around sometimes 14.8, 14.7. The reason being, there's a temperature compensation circuit that detects that it's below freezing. It will increase the voltage. As you warm up the car, the voltage will go down to probably 14.3, 14.2. Anything in that region is acceptable. But as long as it goes down, you know the temperature compensation circuit is working correctly. Okay, so below 32, you can pay attention to that and then you'll see. Now, if the gauge is somewhere over here at 11 volts, you know right off the bat you don't even need a multimeter. And you know obviously the battery has been drained for whatever reason. Okay, that's the indication of that gauge. Now, the RPM is controlled by the computer. So like we said, on a very cold start, expe exp expect this gauge, the pointer, to be at 1,000 RPM. Okay, now something goes into open loop. Eventually, as, as the oxygen sensors are heated, then the computer pays attention to the sensors and it will decrease this rpm so it could go down to about 600 or 700 remember computer controlled okay so in the beginning you'll have more fuel in the fuel injectors the duty cycle will be more more fuel into each cylinder as it warms up it looks at coolant temperature sensor intake air temperature sensor all the sensors except oxygen sensors when it goes into closed loop then it pays attention to the air fuel ratio now this for for the coolant temperatures uh, uh, coolant temperature gauge okay this is the coolant okay for normal operating mode this should be around 190 about midpoint over here this is a little low because there's a problem with the coolant temperature sensor but in normal operating temperatures, this should be around 190. That's considered normal operating temperature of the vehicle. Now, if it's summertime and you put the air conditioning on, expect it to go around 200 to 10. And that's acceptable because you know that that's summer. And you're putting a load on the engine, which is the compressor. Okay, now we get to the oil. That's the oil pressure gauge. When you first start up on a cold, cold start, the oil is thick. So you know the pressure is going to be maybe around 45, 50. But eventually, as you drive, this should be around 30, 35. And it will increase every time you accelerate. Why? Because you, the oil pump is being activated, more pressure. Okay, now there is something with a variable valve timing and all those things, not to get too technical, but anyway, so you, uh, you understand how these gauges work, you're going to look at this one, oil pressure gauge should be around, like I said, 35 around there, and it should increase. Okay, so wait for the vehicle to reach normal operating temperature. Again, around 190, 195, 180, around there. And then you'll see on a warm, warm day, don't let it increase into 220, 230. That is too much. So anyway, I hope this was informative so you can learn things without using a multimeter, as I've done before. And so you're going to look at the RPM going all the way down, which it has. But obviously, there's a problem with the coolant temperature sensor over here. This should be a right now at around 180, 190. The thermostat starts to open up in the up to the upper area holes should get warm around 130 140 it starts to starts to open excuse me the, the thermostat starts to open on this vehicle around 130 140 and usually goes to around 170 180 on this vehicle gm vehicles and therefore
The upper radiator hose should be warm. Okay, I'll make a video about that. But anyway, in shortcut, just pay attention to the gauges. So 14 is acceptable. It'll go down as the car warms up on a very, very cold day. I hope this was informative and you learned something. So please subscribe. Thank you.